it has gone from a formula chromium O3 to the oxide chromium 2 O3. You Is can the smoke s- alarm off? Yeah. No. <laughs> they were meant to put it off. It's a new year. I have a new tie and Brady has allowed me to do an experiment. And it's an experiment which I used to do quite frequently, that's once a year to undergraduate lectures when I was talking about oxygen and oxidation. Unfortunately, I've now moved to a different lecture course, so I can't do this anymore. And it is about a compound of chromium, chromium trioxide. And chromium trioxide is quite an unusual compound of chromium where it is very highly oxidized. So the oxygen has taken a lot of electrons away from the chromium, which makes it very reactive. And the compound itself is a sort of dark red color. It's not terribly exciting to look at. It's quite pretty. But it looks quite nice when you grind it up. And when you grind it up, it starts going a bit redder. If your chemical's the wrong size, this is a good way of breaking it up. And some of these tools have been taken hundreds of years to be developed, so why should we try and make anything better? If you grind up something, it reacts faster. And in this case, it might not really be necessary, but in the old days when I did this, the chromium trioxide came in quite big flakes, which really did need breaking up. But it doesn't hurt to break this up as well. So let's just heap it up a bit in here and put it behind the screen. And I'm wearing gloves because chromium trioxide is quite a nasty compound. It can oxidize the molecules in your body and is potentially quite carcinogenic. It can cause cancer, which is why people have to be careful with this oxidation state of chromium. So I shall put the lid back on to the bottle. It's got a nice lid. Somebody's written the formula on the lid. The reaction I'm going to do is to react it with ethanol. And ethanol can be oxidized to form an aldehyde, ethanol, or sometimes called acetaldehyde. Smells quite nice. And because ethanol is an inflammable liquid, whenever you're pouring out inflammable liquids, you need to pour them out from a small vessel. If you pour them from a bigger vessel, if they catch fire, the flame can go up the liquid faster than it comes out, and you suddenly have the whole bottle on fire. With a smaller vessel, there isn't much to catch fire, even if the flame does come up. And the brother of one of my students discovered this for himself when he tried to jazz up his um, living room fire by pouring some petrol on it and suddenly found himself on fire and had to roll himself up in the carpet to put out the flames. So this is quite serious if you get it wrong. I'm protecting myself with some nice woolly gloves. Okay, so shall I get these all going? Yes. All right, we're ready. Okay. Are you ready? ready Let's go. So nothing may happen because it's an old sample, but let's have a look. Are you ready? Go. Not bad. Not bad. It's brilliant. And if you now look, the sample has gone quite a nice green. The green is chromium-3, chromium-2, O3. It has gone from a formula, chromium-03, to the oxide chromium-2, O3. You can smoke alarm off. Yeah. No. They were meant to put it off. 
So I've set the smoke alarm off. It's very embarrassing because I told them to change it and I'm the safety officer, so I must go and deal with it. Hi. You forgot to switch it off. It's all right, I'm forgiven, but don't do it again.